uh, Sunday, January uh, 22nd, 2012. Uh, this is the uh, third Sunday that I protested in uh, 2012. I didn't protest uh, in front of the Unitarian Church of Montreal on New Year's Day itself, uh, but I was there on the 8th and the 15th, and today the 22nd, or I should say here, <laughs> rather than there. Um, the main signs that I display to the public in terms of those that are held in my hands when I'm walking back and forth are these two. Unsafe sex, which is accompanied by Unitarians with firm and remote abuse of clergy. The uh, unsafe sex sign is obviously a play on the term safe sex, and it obviously does hint at the clergy uh, sexual misconduct, the clergy sexual abuse, uh, but in, in fact uh, I'm using the term much more broadly terms of uh, congregational safety in pretty much every sense. So that would also include uh, any kind of verbal and psychological abuse uh, committed by Unitarian Universalist ministers and uh, church leaders and so on. Um, so according to its own definition of uh, what constitutes a safe congregation, the uh, Unitarian Universalist Association uh, allows uh, quite a number of Unitarian Universalist congregations to be blessed and safe. Uh, and that certainly includes confirming and promoting abuse of clergy. Now, uh, when one speaks about the abuse of clergy, you know, what immediately comes to mind is sexual abuse. But in fact, uh, there's plenty of other forms of abuse uh, that the clergy can engage in. Uh, they can be verbal and psychological abuse. There can be various other abuses of power, um, and so on. So when I'm using the word uh, abusive clergy here, I'm including clergy sexual abuse, clergy sexual misconduct, but I'm going well beyond that. I'm referring to all manner of abusive behavior by Unitarian Universalist clergy. And in fact, uh, the UUA and individual Unitarian Universalist churches do in fact promote the affirm clergy who are abusive in various ways. Uh, they literally affirm them by saying that their abusive behavior is acceptable. So they whitewash the minister or dismiss the complaint arbitrarily, pretending that the minister's done nothing wrong. That's an affirmation, as far as I'm concerned, of not only the minister, but of the abusive behavior of the minister. Um, how do they promote abusive clergy? Well, it's very simple. They promote abusive clergy in two ways. One, they promote them in the ranks. So they, they rise up within the church to higher levels, even going as far as becoming elected the president of the UUA. Uh, for example, uh, Reverend Bill Sinkford had a clergy sexual misconduct complaint brought against him in the early 90s. And yet later, uh, you know, nothing happened and he uh, basically rose to become elected president of the UUA, even though he had a, a clergy sexual misconduct complaint against him that, as I understand it, resulted in an acrimonious divorce from his first wife. Um, Reverend Dr. Uh, Horace Church is another example of a Unitarian Universalist minister who engaged in sexual misconduct and was promoted in many ways within the church. Um, another way of promoting them is promoting them in the sense of publicity. Um, various uh, Unitarian Universalist ministers, guilty of abusive behavior of various kinds, are promoted in that sense. You know, the church... Uh, Touts, you know, whatever sermons or blog polls or speech or whatever that, that they uh, are, uh, you know, doing. You know, they'll, they'll invite a, a minister who's uh, guilty of uh, clergy misconduct to present a, a prominent uh, speech or sermon during a special uh, event or something like that. That's it for now. <clears throat> Good morning. The peace of Christ. The peace of Christ. <laughs> I think Christ is in pieces at this church. <laughs> Sorry? 